Suppose a leader quotes all in cost for a generic swap at the rate of 8% against 6 months LIBOR or flat. If the notional principal amount of the swap is rupees 5 lakhs, calculate semi annual fixed payment. Then, second part of the question is given if the first floating rate payment for one above, find the first floating rate payment for one above if six months period from the effective date of the swap to the settlement date comprises of 181 days and that the corresponding LIBOR was 6% on the effective date of swap. In two above, if the settlement is on the net basis, how much the fixed rate payer would have to pay to the floating rate payer? Generic swap is based on 30 divided by 360 days basis. That is the question. Friends, all of you must have heard about something like called generic medicine. Okay, generic medicine stands for says like a medicine which does not have any additional like the essence to it. So here the word generic stands for says so simple. There are no other terms and conditions. It is also given a name as the pure vanilla swap. We know that so the vanilla ice cream that we eat does not have any additional flavor to it. It is a basic ice cream that we have. Generally we avoid eating that. But this is what is so the kind of word which is used. It is pure vanilla swap. That is what we have the technical words. Not having as such great relevance. It only has a simple meaning. There are no additional terms and conditions. Suppose a dealer quotes all in cost for a generic swap at the rate of 8% against 6 months live or flat. The notional principle is 5 lakhs. Okay. So we are required to make the computation of the interest. So interest is required to be computed at floating rate and interest is required to be computed at fixed rate. That is what we understand. We can see in the first question, calculate semi-annual fixed rate payment and this is the fixed rate. Semi-annual fixed rate payment. In that, I is equal to PRN upon 100. Principal amount is 5 lakhs. Fixed rate is 8 percentage. And it is semi-annual. So it is 1 by 2. So 8% of 5 lakhs comes to 40,000 into 1 by 2 that comes to rupees 20,000. That is the single fixed rate payment. The second part of the question, calculate the first floating rate payment for one above if the 6 months period from the effective date of swap to the settlement date comprises of 181 days. So, floating rate payment. In that again, the interest is required to be found. It is PRN upon 100. The principal amount is 5 lakhs. The floating rate of interest is 6 percentage and the time period is 181 divided by 360. So 5 lakhs into 6 percent into 181 upon 360. That comes to 15,083.
then we are required to compute the net of both of them. So the net amount It is 20,000 minus 15,083, that is rupees 4917. Since the fixed rate of interest is higher, so like this is the amount of the net interest which is required to be paid. So this is the way we are required to make the computation of the answer, the net amount which is required to be paid. 